one. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening. I'm Laura Parak Nolte, the president of Interpor. And wherever you are joining us from around the globe, on behalf of the executive committee, I welcome you to the 12th annual conference of the International Society for Porous Media, also known as Interpor. Interpor is a nonprofit independent scientific organization for porous media researchers from academia and industry, and it was founded in 2008. This is our first virtual con conference, and we're pleased that you could attend to listen to the presentations, participate in discussions, reconnect with colleagues, and also forge new connections in your network. The program committee has crafted presentations and sessions that encompass a wide range of research and applications from water and energy to agricultural, biology and biomedical engineering, as well as subsurface science, and also includes many fundamental studies related to flow and transport in porous media. Before we proceed with our ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our platinum sponsors, Kimberly Clark, Shell, Zeiss, and Thermo Fisher Scientific for their support of this conference. As in past years, when we've had in-person conferences, we like to provide a brief overview of the Interpor activities for 2020. We are pleased to announce that our new websites have been completed and are now available for both Interpor as well as the foundation. If you have any comments or suggestions for the site, please contact us because our goal at Interpor is to provide a forum for the exchange of ideas and information among the porous media community. A lot of effort this year went into the transition for Interpor 2020 into an online conference. This took tremendous effort by the organizing committee, the program committee, the IT staff, the Interpor staff, the communications committee, the developers of the mini symposia, as well as all the conference attendees with their willingness to upload presentations and participate in this virtual forum. So at this time, I would like us to pause and clap, virtual clap for all the volunteers and their dedicated service to Interpor, because Interpor is built by the community. This year, Interpor has joined the International Science Council. This is an international organization who promotes cooperation in science to lead to advancements. We've also seen the development of three new committees for Interpor. The first one is the Financial Committee, which provides oversight for Interpor finances and is to provide stewardship to ensure the health, the financial health of Interpor in the coming years. We've also established an industry committee with the goal of reaching out to industry to determine are we encompassing all aspects of porous media that are relevant to society today. Because of the growth in membership and national chapters, we now have a national chapter committee we have increasing interaction with different national chapters and we're expanding the role of national chapters in our Interpor activities. Our national chapters now stand at 16 and we're pleased to announce that we had three new national chapters form in 2020, which is Greece, Spain, and Saudi Arabia. And this adds to our current members, which includes Australia, a coalition among Be Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg, Brazil, China, Colombia, France, Germany, India, Iran, Italy, Mexico, Norway, and the United Kingdom. Right now, under formation are three additional ones, one in Austria, Sweden, and Canada. If you're not familiar with your national group because you're new to Interpor, please drop us an email and we'll tell you who to contact in order to become part of the national chapter. If you're in a country that doesn't have a national chapter, also contact us if you're interested in forming one and we'll provide details 
of what is expected. The Interpore membership continues to grow. As we mentioned, it was formed in 2008. We roughly had a membership of around 100 people, and today we're approaching 2,000. For those of you who are new to Interpore, your registration for this conference includes a one-year membership and is renewable every year at the conference time. The Interpore Foundation is celebrating five years since its formation. It provides educational support and outreach for the Interpore community. This year, it's, uh, they have sponsored 16 conference grants so young researchers can attend the Interpore 2020 Symposium. They also hosted a forum related to COVID-19 and what is the role of porous media in this pandemic. And one of the interesting things they had was a face mask competition to design face masks by students. They've also established new awards and Interpore is founded, is funded through donations. And so donations are appreciated and can be made at any time. As I stated, the foundation is for educational support and our goal is to help support young researchers from around the world in their study of porous media. The new awards by the foundation include the Interpore Award for Excellence in Porous Media Research. This is for mid-career researchers, which we're using a pretty broad definition for mid-career. And the emphasis will be on research conducted over the five, past five years. We're excited to have a new award, the Rain Van Genutken Early Career Award of Porous Media for a Green World. And we have Professor Genutken here this week who will introduce the award and present the award to the first winner. We also have a new chapter, National Chapter Award from the Interpor Foundation. This is to acknowledge the role that national chapters play in our activities at Interpor. And the goal is to acknowledge national chapters with sustained and varied activities. The winner this year will be announced at the closing ceremony. So at this point, we will proceed to the award ceremony. Usually when we have a in-person conference, the award ceremony is held at one point, maybe on the first day of the conference or before the banquet. But this year in the virtual forum, we've decided to distribute the awards ceremonies throughout the meeting. And so today we're gonna to have our first award ceremony. <clears throat> 